Okay, we are going on an adventure. The person holding the phone, that's Sadie. Hello. She's my house sitter. And she loves on bales and all that stuff. And we are going to go have a bonding exercise today. We, I just got bees today. Bees, I've never had them. I'm not an expert on bees, but I got a hive and then I just got a bunch of bees and she's been reading instructions on what I need to do here on out. Evidently they say, you know, they wanted us to put on bee suits and they had to have a smoker. I don't have any of that stuff. We're, I'm gonna make my own smoker. I got a tin can, I poked a hole in it. I have a pipe, that's all it is. It's a smoker, okay? And I filled it with sawdust. And then I, I'm just gonna put in like, so. Put that in there and light some of that. Just that coal will go in there and I'll have a nice little coal and then put some sawdust in there and then that'll just kind of burn away. Yeah, see there, you have a smoker. You add more smoke, just a little blow. Step one. <laughs> um, the plastic around that, the bee box. Okay. Um, put on, <laughs> put on battle gear. I don't even know if this will work. You're dressed up. Better. I know. I don't want to get stung. You have work gloves on. What the heck? Okay, so we have to take the plastic off here. Yeah. Okay. That way it's easy to open. Okay. I think you're fumbling to open on the video. It's easy lame. Here we go. <laughs> Picture okay. Oh. Now the plastic is off. Now okay. what? So from what the instructions say, we want to take this off. Okay. We have half half the shelves in there. Yeah. Which I think you can put more in later. I don't okay. Awesome. So to put the frames in there in the same order that you receive them. So I don't know what that means because a lot of the like other ones, it's just like a little box. Okay. So you just put it in here. So I think we'll find out more when we open it up. Basically, but the instructions just said put the frames that are in that box in the same order that you oh. receive them. So I don't fully under I don't know what it's gonna look like okay. inside there. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's calm them down first. Is that how you do it? Yeah, you're supposed to smoke them out. I mean, you might be. And then you know you can't, because then you'd have to disturb the hive at some point. Do. They seem calm though. They're not like biting us or stinging us yet. got a bee in the pants. This is amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Look at what we're doing. Okay. So cool. And then what do we do with the rest of these okay, nambajams? Okay, so then we want to put the lid back on from what I could okay. call. Okay. Just that one, I think. I think let's let's dump these guys. Yeah, in. you could put that you could shake them. Oh, well, not too much. Just Okay, now they're getting fired up. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. And then it said to put the box that these came in uh -huh. on top of everything after it's all said and okay. done, and they'll find the queen and like in their hive. Okay. And run? Yes. I think we're good. Yeah. That was amazing. Look. <laughs> no stinging. I've though. never done this before. Neither have I, but I'm not getting stung. It's a good thing that I'm not scared of bees. I'm not scared of bees when they're not stinging me. It's a whole different story. This uh, is yeah. awesome. We'll do the cleanup later. Okay. But um, wow. I don't know if anybody learned anything, but that's what <laughs> that's what we did today. <laughs> This is cool. Okay, rad. Thanks, Sadie. Yeah, thank you. There, she was the helper today. <laughs> Bales didn't even, he, she doesn't Bales even care. Very radical, man. Super rad. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching today. <laughs> oh, and then pretty soon I'm going to have flowers on this whole thing. They should have, oh, 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 and then now we have to give them food. Okay, next video. Okay, bye. Heard this so I know it. Okay, keep going. Patty, you're the you're the bird. You're the bee expert. No, he came over here to save the day. But they're going to build comb, and your queen is going to lay about a thousand or so eggs a day. Wow. And so it's going to build up pretty fast when the weather starts getting warmer, and you're going to have to have somebody watching this because. Queens, once she fills up all of your frames on the bottom, she'll move up to the top and she'll be laying. And when she decides she doesn't have enough room, that's when they'll swarm. So somebody's got to be watching this. And they will tend to swarm probably um, late May, early June. They'll stop swarming in July. So you're going to have to have somebody watching this. Okay. Okay, so we won't worry about that feed. You need a hive tool. Oh, okay. And your hive tool. They'll be building a propolis and you want to scrape down the side just like this so that they'll fit together better. Okay, you've got some right now in here where the white larva is. Yes. Uh, they've gone past the egg stage and now they're larva. And here is capped brood. Okay. That's a capped brood right there. Okay. They're going to hatch in 20 some days. Wow. The older it gets, the darker it will get. Is it healthy? It's all looking healthy? Yeah. Good.
time I I go through and look for the queen, but I don't. So you want to scrape off. When they start building comb down here, you take your hive tool and you scrape that off. Okay. You should also have your hive about three feet off the ground. Okay. Because skunks like to come by and eat bees. And if it's about three feet off the ground, then the skunk has to reach up with its paws. Mm -hmm. And the bees will come out through the bottom entrance and start stinging on their stomach. Oh, okay. And then it will go out. Okay. I'll get I'll get a set up right now. So you don't want to do anything until it cools down at night because you've got bees out flying around. Okay. So as it gets colder, like around seven, seven thirty, they should all be in the hive. And you wanna block off your entrance. Stuff it with paper or something and then move it. Oh. Otherwise, when you disturb the hive, they're all gonna come out. Oh, I see, okay. So, you don't do that. This is your inner cover. And what you wanna do is notch out maybe inch and a half, two inches, about a quarter of an inch, so that when so they'll have like a front door and a back door. Oh, I see. So this will go on here. Oh, well, you can tell this is on the inside. You just scrape this off. You want to discourage them from building comb where they're not supposed to. So go to the second stack in two months? No, no. You'll have to... Somebody has to be watching this. Really? Yeah, because... You know, the bees all have their own jobs. Okay. And there's certain ages that make the comb. And the bee is going to go, the queen is going to go around and fill in the comb, the prepared frames that have comb built on them. And when she fills that up and you've got like eight frames of brood and eggs, you she's going to want to go upstairs okay and it's like you want to live upstairs you don't want to live in the basement right <laughs> right so the queen is always going to move up uh-huh you know when i pulled this top box off there were no bees in the bottom right they were just in the top okay so they're always going to migrate up oh they like going up yeah. okay so then by that time hopefully unless you've got a really good queen uh, by that time, it'll be like mid-June, and they'll start bringing in, they will have all moved up, and they'll start bringing in the nectar. And you're going to have to rotate the frames down so that you have empty frames up on top, and they can bring in the nectar. And when you have your frames filled up with nectar, 
then you put on your honey supers. Because that's what you can have, but you need to have a full box of frames for them to feed on. Okay. And they won't feed on it during the summer or during the nectar season. Mm. But if it gets really dry, like in August, they'll start eating the food that they have. Oh. So you'll have to watch to make sure that they have plenty of food. And you may have to start feeding in August, just sugar water. Mm. And then along comes September, you'll have to change that syrup formula to two to one. Okay. Wow. So, anyway, you got to go. So day two of having the beehive and uh, yeah, I've been learning a lot. Yesterday I had a bee friend, Patty, come out that knows a lot about bees and she hooked me up with, she took some cells out of her hives that were full of honey and she said, we'll put that in that hive and then the bees will have honey to eat. It'll make them stronger. And then you're also supposed to right now, since it's early spring, you have to supplement their diet because there's not enough things in bloom. So get sugar water and things like that. Well, I took the sugar water there and the ants took over. And um, this is what's what's happened today. An unfortunate uh, discovery. The ants, yeah, they got into the sugar, but they also found the hive somewhere. So So I've got ants in my hive and they're eating the honey and I think overpowering the bees. Uh, it's not good, totally unexpected. So what I'm going to do is I've got these stands. I've got two of them. I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna relocate the hive into a sunnier spot. And then I have this, uh, this is a, you get an auto supply place. It's for uh, putting under cars that leak oil in the shop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this uh, upside down on top of the jack stands. The ants that crawl up, they reach the ceiling of this slippery metal. And then I'm going to edge the metal with Vaseline. So as the ants are trying to crawl up this, they can't tackle that. And then by the time they hit the Vaseline, they'll fall off. That's what I'm going to try. And I hope it's not too late. Wish me luck. Okay, so it's up on stilts. There's a, it's up on bricks. And then I, this is all coated with Vaseline all around the edge. Uh, I'm gonna get more Vaseline and I'm actually gonna put layers of Vaseline around my stands as a deterrent and uh yeah we wait and see i hope they're okay that's all i can tell you uh i think when the hive is strong enough it can defend itself against attacks like that but um i was also advised to put the hive up somewhere like three feet high up off the ground because other predators like raccoons and skunks, they say uh, they reach up and try to get the honey. And uh, since they're reaching up, if the bees want to defend themselves, the bellies of those predators get stung and then uh, yet another uh, step of deterring predators like that. So uh, yeah, there's a little bit more to it than just get in a box and putting bees in it. Stay tuned. <laughs>